there was a vote on Patreon. Destiny 2 or Dark Souls 3? Yeah, there's a clear winner here. Oh yeah. Ba -da -da -da. Very cool. Uh the choir, the chorus part here, the the dissonance in the harmonies and the way they resolve is amazing relative to the string lines that are written underneath. But the coolest part is the drone and the timpani. Boom, boom. Same note the whole way when we have our, our chimes, our tubular bell section. That's amazing. I feel like there's some triplet groove going on in the strings. I'm going back 10 seconds. There it is. Ooh. And then to the even eighth notes. Oh, what a great, ah, okay, great writing. Cool transition. Okay. Wow. That was a climactic point. We're at 103 out of 241. Does it hit that hard again? I got distracted by the violin line that was coming in that like brought us seamlessly from the previous section. But then the soprano, the vocal, the high soprano line on top took over. Uh, we peaked in the volume. Sorry. I've got your version turned down. So usually it doesn't happen to you, but it, it went to the red. I apologize. It's very loud for me. I'm going to have tinnitus later on in life. It's going to be unfortunate, but uh, was not expecting that. I'm going back 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, just to get that again, because that was so aggressive. We have such a great combination of our supporting choir line that it gets kind of lost up there. It's not in the stratosphere because that's where the soprano line is. When I say stratosphere, I mean like the highest point in like if you're thinking the voice leading how it is on the page. But the string section in that the vocal supplement, get, I feel like they kind of go like this in between each other and they just kind of like harmonize in the same realm. So sometimes it's difficult to pick them apart. But wow, even through all of that, we still have our timpani player so commanding. Remember, that's one player versus the whole orchestra and choir. That's one person that has such a dominant voice in the mix. Love to see it. Jesus. Wow. Okay. We'll, we'll get to that drop again. That drop. Feel, <laughs> I got chills on that one. Uh, so timpani is still there. We're still on our, our drone note. We're still boom, boom. Everything's right here. And it sounds like basses are camping out in the same thing. Uh, we just had a great little, a great little theme come in with the strings. We're going to go back five to get this. What it sounds like an epic, <laughs> another uh, adjustment here to the ears. Sorry if it's too loud, but it is what it is. Here we go. <laughs>
answer that question. Is there a bigger impact? Yes, there was. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm focused on the suspended four chord resolution there at the end. We finally, uh, the progression, I'm not totally sure if the timpani was still camping on our uh, drone, which is, can work harmonically. You can still have one player um, playing the bass note and still travel through a progression. It works fine. Um, it The other voices were just so dominant and so much happened. I can't get that in a first time listen. I'm going to go back about... 35, I think, just to see what else is going on. This is pretty loud. It's extremely loud, actually. Okay, so we're really traveling through some different chords here, and uh, the cymbal player is lining up with each of these hits, these punches, these kind of stabs in the music, which brings in a lot of, like, uh, mm, cementing the forward motion, right? We have concert concert bass drum and two cymbals hitting at the same time there. There's so much happening with some counter melodies between the uh, the mid-range choir section and stuff that's down below. I would love to see the score of this, like, because this is a pretty, since everything is stacked, so um, there's a lot of ink on the page as far as everyone kind of outlining similar tasks. It's harder for my ears to be like, oh, here is exactly what the chord change is. I would, I would need to see this and kind of follow along and spell the chords out as they go. But with all that being said, if you don't have any investment in that, who cares, right? It just sounds really good. So it's like, it's immediately attracted to your ear. I don't think, I, I don't know anybody could listen to this and be like, oh, I don't care for it. This is pretty... This is pretty amazing music, and to think that this is for a, a game, you know, like, we've really come a long way in game music, because this is simply amazing. The, the brass, the low brass section there is blatting, not blatting in a bad way. Sometimes we say that in a negative way. Uh, just really has a dominant presence. I went back five. Just listen to like the trombones and the baritones here. Yeah, I didn't know Dark Souls uh, was like this. I think maybe, um, maybe we've done one piece from them. I from it the the uh, the franchise. I honestly can't remember right now. I'm just a little bit overtaken with how good that was. And uh, <laughs> the whole time it says press start button. No, we're not pressing the start button. We're gonna sit right here and listen to that. I wonder how many players play that and just was like, no, I'm not hitting it till one cycle. The music goes through. So yeah, <sighs> that was wild. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we can talk about your favorite video game music or just music in general. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the Discord server if you'd like to support me. My Patreon information is down there. Click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, please, and thank you. I appreciate you so much for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.